service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC and Jib Jab Greetings. I'm Bud Lowell. Your full AccuWeather forecast is always on top on your CNC local page. Governor Andrew Cuomo is trying a carrot rather than a stick to encourage school districts to streamline their management and operations. The governor announced a school district management efficiency awards program that pays districts for implementing long-term efficiency and cost-saving measures. The efficiency awards program is a financial incentive for school districts to adopt long-term reforms that demonstrate improved results for students, cut costs, and increase productivity. The program will hand out up to $75 million in grants over the next three years to districts that do the best job of cutting administrative overhead while maintaining the integrity of educational programs and services for students and teachers. Districts will also have to show they're engaging parents and teachers in their cost-cutting efforts. The first round of awards will be given out in the next school year. Speaking of education, the Rochester City School District has named its two finalists for the job of superintendent. One is Interim Superintendent Bogan Vargas, a career educator who worked as a counselor in the Greece Central Schools, served on the city school board, and was the board president. The other is Andre Spencer, the school improvement officer in the Houston, Texas Independent School District. Spencer works with principals in the Houston Elementary Schools. Interested city residents have a chance to meet both candidates on Tuesday, April 17th at East High School. An informal session begins at 3.30, followed by a Q&A session at 6.30 in the evening. The City Board of Education plans to decide in May who gets the job. Former Board President Bolgan Vargas has been serving as interim superintendent for nearly a year. The University of Rochester Medical Center's cardiac transplant team has, for the first time, replaced a 49-year-old man's heart with a completely artificial heart. URMC surgeons say this introduces a new life-sustaining treatment for the most critically ill patients who have end-stage heart failure. The patient is former Buffalo Sabres player Gaetano Orlando. He's been living with the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart since April 4th, when a team of cardiac surgeons and physicians from the U of R's Artificial Heart Program replaced his diseased heart with the artificial pump. The Syncardia Artificial Heart is intended to be a temporary replacement, giving the patient time for a natural organ to become available. Dr. Todd Massey called it tremendous technology that can have a dramatic effect on patients who are experiencing advanced heart failure. Massey is surgical director of the U of R's artificial heart program and he led the surgical team. He said in a Wednesday news conference that this was the only option to keep Orlando alive until a donor heart could become available. Family members say the young Rochester man killed in Monday night's triple shooting on Dayton Street was a member of the city's teen empowerment center who worked with troubled youths. Two men were injured and one was killed in the shooting. The victim was identified as 22-year-old Lawrence Richardson, who died at Strong Memorial Hospital after the shooting. Police have not yet confirmed that identification. The two other injured youths are recovering. They're in guarded condition at Strong. Family members and friends held a candlelight vigil for Richardson on Dayton Street. They said he regularly spoke out against violence and had worked directly with city youths for six years. Police are still looking for a suspect in the shootings. Fire hit the sixth floor of the Seneca Manor Apartments Tuesday afternoon. Firefighters had to evacuate residents from the sixth and seventh floors. The fire broke out in an apartment where firefighters rescued an unconscious man He suffered second and third degree burns as well as smoke inhalation. He was taken to Strong Memorial Hospital for treatment. A second alarm was called in, but the fire was brought under control in about 20 minutes. They're investigating the cause. In Brighton, the town board Wednesday night takes up the question of whether Empire State College should build a 33,000 square foot learning center on South Clinton Avenue. No vote is expected at this time. This would be an $11 million project located across South Clinton from the Topps Plaza. The college now rents space on North Winton in Irondequoit, but it's run out of room there. SUNY bought 11 acres of undeveloped land in Brighton for the new campus, but Superintendent Bill Mull says he'd rather see the facility on land that's already off the tax rolls. To the left of this window are links to more information on these and other stories. Next news as it happens on CNC with updates when necessary. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.